What's up guys, hope you are all doing well. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to work more on the lighting for our exterior scene. In the previous videos, we have seen how to use V-Ray Sun and how to link it with V-Ray Sky. Now in this video, we are going to see how to link V-Ray Sun with V-Ray HDRI. So if you missed the previous videos, make sure to watch them from the card above or from the link in the video description. Make sure to watch this video to the end to understand the full lighting process. After that, download the project files and start practicing. You will find all the project files on my Patreon link, the link in the video description. Also make sure to give this video a thumb up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Now without further ado, let's jump into the video. Okay, so this is what we have done in the previous video. We have set up a V-Ray Sun. This is the V-Ray Sun. And we have linked it with the V-Ray Sky environment. And this is the test render that we have done. And as you can see, we have got a really nice golden sun rays. But our background is still a little bit empty. So now in this video, we are going to link a V-Ray HDRI with V-Ray Sun to get a little bit more realistic results. So how we are going to do that? First thing, let's see what is an HDRI refer to. HDRI is a panoramic photo which cover all angles from a single point and contain a, a large amount of data, which means it's not a JPG file format. It's usually a 32 bits per pixel per channel, which can be used for the illumination of CG scenes. So this is the definition of the HDRI and from it we get that the HDR files or the HDR image is a different kind of image. It's not a JVG image, it's not a, an image that you can find in Google image or that sort of thing. We have to search for sites that offer a good quality HDRI and there are a lot of sites that offer a good HDRIs, whether that they are offering for it for free or they sell it. So the website that I prefer, which is offer free HDRIs, is no emotion. And you will find the link for this website in the description below. So basically just go to no emotions, search for the HDRI types that you want. They offer a lot of HDRIs, for example, day HDRI, evening HDRI, night HDRI, or other type of the HDRIs. So let's see their evening HDRIs and let's for example download this HDRI and you can download it directly from this and after the download complete you will get this file which is an HDRI format file. So how we can link it with the VLA Sun? Let's go back to 3ds Max and let's activate the IPR rendering. Okay so now we have to add a VLA light as a dome light. So go to create lights VLA and choose VLA light and change the type from plane to dome. Now click from the top view in anywhere in the viewport and that will immediately replace the environment map which is previously we have put it as a VLA sky with the VLA dome light. So now if you turn on or off the environment map, which is the VLA sky, you will notice the same result in the IPR rendering. So this is the first step. As the dome light selected, go to modify and scroll down to texture. Click on no map and change it to VLA HDRI. Now it will ask you to choose the HDRI files that you have downloaded. So just selected it and hit open. Now open the material editor and just drag the VLA HDRI to an empty slot as an instance and hit OK. Now you can see the HDRI files in the material editor review but in the rendering or in the IPR rendering it's very dark so you have to increase the multiplier let's say 10. Now you have to inc increase it more Let's try 100. And now, as you can see, the HDRI is starting to appear and it, it's affecting the lighting of our scene. But now we have to adjust the rotation of the HDRI to match the rotation of our V-Ray Sun. Because as you can see in the material editor, if we change the horizontal rotation, it will rotate the HDRI files, which is also 
we wrote it in the final rendering. So how we can do that? First of all, let's give a zero value to the horizontal rotation and let's close everything. Let's stop the IPR render for a while. And now we have to move the V-Ray Sun. Let's change the select filter to lights and choose the select the V-Ray Sun and move it along. Select the V-Ray light and also move it. Now align the V-Ray Sun with the V-Ray HDRI. So select it. Go to align and select the VRI light and select only the alignment on the Y axis. Now hit OK. I have set up a second camera to, to help us watch the change correctly. So I'm going just to align it with the VRI light. The same process. Also select it and hit align and align it with the VRI light. Hit OK. Change the view from camera 1 to camera 2. And now we can see the V-Ray Sun. Let's move the camera target a little bit down. Okay, perfect. I'm just going to select all the camera, secondary camera and all the lights and hit Alt and Q to isolate it. Okay, now to get an accurate result, make sure that the sun is facing the right side. As I have here in the top view, as you can see, that the sun direction is from right to left and the camera is on the opposite side. Now let's activate the IPR and now we can see our HDRI is appearing in the IPR lander. But first let's, let's adjust the V-Ray Sun. So select the V-Ray light and disable it. And now you can see the sun disk. This little circle here is the sun. So if you move it up or down, it will change the direction of the sun. Now we have to change it to something like it's uh, a little bit closer to the sun direction in the HDRI. So let's turn on the HDRI to see it. The sun is about here. Now in the HDRI, it's behind the clouds, but it's somewhere here. So let's match the VRI sun position to our HDRI sun, uh, sun position. So turn off the VRI light, select the VRI sun, just move it down a little bit around here. Let's activate the VRI light. Okay, it's, it's need to be a little bit down and that's it. It's about here. Of course, you don't have to be very precise about the height of the VRI sun, but you have to be like a little bit closer to the HDRI files. Now, as we have set up the direction of the VRI sun and the VRI HDRI, we have to link both of them. So if we move one of them, the other will move with it. How we can do that? Firstly, select the VRI light dome and go to its option. Open the dome light options and go to lock texture to icon activate it and that will make our HDRI rotate with our dome light. So if you, let's say, just rotate it this way, it will change the HDRI file. Now select the VRI Sun. Let's change the selection filter to lights. Select the VRI Sun and activate select and link. And just click on the VRI Sun and drag it and drop it on the VRI light. Release the bottom and that's it. Now you have just linked the VRI sun. So if you rotate the VRI HDRI or the VRI light in this case, you will also rotate your VRI sun direction. And that's it. Now let's go back to our main shot. Let's change the camera to, let's stop firstly the IPR. Let's change the camera and let's click right click and end isolate. Now let's activate our IPR rendering. Now this is the result that we have get. We need to change the rotation of the sun with the HDRI. So select the VRI dome. And as you can see, if we rotate the VRI light, the sun direction will change and also the HDRI map will change with it. So now all of what you have to do is to choose the right direction of the sun and that's it. Now of course you can change the lighting of the VRI light, I mean the brightness of the VRI light by selecting it and go back to its setting. And let's say we'll change the multiplier to 15. 
and that will give us a little bit darker rendering and if we increase it that will give us a brighter render so let's make it 100 again let's check the color clamping let's hit render now to see the test render okay so this is the render with the V-Ray Sun linked with the V-Ray HDRI if we want to see the result before linking with the HDRI we have to go to the V-Ray light and turn it off let's hit render again and see the result okay so now we have our render with V-Ray Sun and this is with V-Ray Sun linked with the V-Ray HDRI as you can see we have a little bit warmer color in the shadows and in the dark areas here because it gets the lights from the HDRI so it's not only about the background changing the background the HDRI files it affects on the lighting in general so if you choose a sunny HDRI you will get a little bit blue in the in your scene if you choose it like this one in the evening you will get a little bit warmer colors so that's why you have to look a lot to find the really good HDRIs because it will affect dramatically in your lighting so now let's put a simple object and see the effect of the HDRI on the reflections now I'm going to just change the layout of the viewports and you can do that by going to this small arrow here and change it I'm just going to use this three method and change it to camera one front view and top view okay come here to standard and activate the VLA IPR and you have now VLA render directly to your camera viewport and you can change the aspect of the render from here IPR as ambient occlusion or as a wireframes or you can see the UVs for now I'm just going to set it to the default render now I have created this tools knot and apply a simple reflection material to it. I, I've just changed the diffuse color to black and give it a reflect value and change the glossiness to 0.95. And of course we are going to create a lot of materials in the upcoming videos. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Now let's see the changes before and after applying the HDRI on the reflected material. So let's turn off the VLA light which contains the HDRI and let's see the changes in the viewport. And here in the IPR render it, show, it shows no details in the reflections because the VLA sky it have no texture to it, no HDRI maps. It's only just a gradient color. So let's see it better in the render. Let's activate the IPR rendering and on the IPR click right click and choose real zoom and that will allow you to zoom to the render as you are zooming in the max viewport so now you, you can see the changes a little bit better and now this is with the VLA sun let's turn on the VLA HDRI on the VLA light and now you can see we have a little bit details of the sky in the reflection and that gives us a more realistic rendering than just using the normal VLA sky so this is before and this is after so this was the way to link VLA Sun with VLA Lite which contains the VLA HDRI in the next videos we are going to create materials for our scene so if you find this video helpful please give it a like and share it with your friends and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos that's it for this video see you in the next one bye